Governor Braun's administration has set a goal to have nuclear power plants in Indiana in the next eight years. Purdue University right now is leading the research on this initiative and hosting the Global Nuclear Energy Economic Summit its next week. Today, Rich and I went to West Lafayette to see how nuclear energy could meet Indiana's growing power needs. Behind these doors is Indiana's only nuclear reactor, where Purdue researchers and students are on the front line of bringing nuclear energy to Indiana's power grid. This is PER-1, a tiny open tank reactor where you can see through the water right down to the core, which gives off a blue glow of radiation when operating. It's been operating since 1962, and current licensed power is at 10 kilowatt thermal, which is about 10 toasters. It's not much. But the information collected is powerful when applied on a larger scale. In 2019, Purdue converted the reactor to completely digital controls. Then in 2023, Purdue built a digital twin of the reactor. That allows broader experiments on a digital copy of the reactor without affecting per one's operation. Research findings are helping to develop next generation small modular reactors, SMRs, that could power the state's electric grid. I hope to see uh, the United States really take the role in the development of next generation nuclear. Um, I'd like to see us decarbonize our grid with next generation nuclear plants and definitely would like to see us be at the forefront of the technology. A Purdue study identified eight retiring fossil fuel power plants that could be suitable for conversion to SMRs. If you want to keep a manufacturing base or you want to develop a manufacturing base in the U.S., you're going to need to have a lot of energy. And ideally, you want this energy to be environmental friendly. So nuclear can satisfy all these requirements where you get a lot of energy uh, with a small footprint so you can have small modular reactors next to a data center. We need nuclear energy to continue our uh, continuous growth and development of uh, industry. And also at the same time, we need to be concerned about our environment and uh, what kind of pollutants that we're putting out there. Nuclear is one of the lowest polluting energy sources and also one of the most reliable. Purdue is bringing stakeholders to campus November 5th and 6th for the Global Nuclear Energy Economic Summit. My hope is that this summit will uh, disseminate the benefits of nuclear energy to the broader audience. We are definitely support, uh, supporting the, the state of Indiana to explore options in uh, if it does make sense for small modular reactors to be installed in Indiana, what are the benefits? Purdue research includes ways to lower cost, improve safety and cybersecurity, and increase lifespan. In West Lafayette, Rich Nye, 13 News. Now, data centers and AI are largely driving the demand to get more energy, and we have seen here in central Indiana communities, really statewide, fighting against these data centers in part because of the need for energy. Small modular reactors are operating in other countries, but none yet here stateside.